What's up you all? It's Takia back with another video. So this time it's going to be a sea moss smoothie for a week straight, but don't quote me on that. I might extend it. I am doing this video reminiscent of my juicing video. I actually have been getting a lot of comments recently on that video and on my sea moss face mask video. So this time I just want to take it inside. These videos are strictly to show the benefits of different ingredients made by nature. This is just to show that healing is for everyone. I hope this video is enjoyable. I hope it's helpful. You already know about the benefits of sea moss. If you don't, if you haven't heard about it, you can check out where I get mine from and where I source it from down in the description box. Let's hop into it. I am starting this journey. I am ready to go on kind of like a cleanse. It cleanses you from the inside out, but it helps with the colon. It helps with energy, weight loss. It's just, it's a game changer. It's also a plant-based protein because this helps to build up cellular walls and repair cells, okay? I get mine from areyouprivy.com. Quality, the good stuff. I'm here in Jamaica. So I showed this bag and I just used half of it. It's already expanded because it has been um, being cleaned in water and it starts to expand. So you wanna put it in a bowl that's large enough and hopefully already linked or put on the screen my TikTok video, which is a tutorial of how to make the sea moss gel. The fridge, let it soak overnight and expand and get ready for my body to digest it. I have papa, mango, and no black spots do not mean that your mango is bad or molded. <laughs> Things that I've learned since being in Jamaica. And then I'm gonna do maybe one banana and then I'll have sea moss. So I checked the fruit combination list and papaya and mango are sub-acid fruits. Papaya also fell under the sweet fruits. The digestion time for mangoes and papaya, the sub-acid fruits was 30 to 40 and sweet fruits was longer. I think this was like the 40 range. This is the sea moss. I have it here still in that bowl. Just pulled it out of the fridge. What I'm gonna do is just take a portion and blend it with a little bit of spring water. I'm not gonna blend the whole batch and make a whole batch of sea moss gel because I don't feel like it. <laughs> does not look good to me. It's pale. Keep some seeds. It's blank. Mm -hmm. mm. banana and purple gold sea moss. Very tasty. Day one is finished. I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Hey you all, it is day two and it's like 5 p.m. I just woke up from a nap. I've had a long day. I was out last night um, getting dinner and then I woke up this morning, went to get breakfast. Anyways, all right, so I'm about to make my smoothie. I actually got some fruits. So I have some more papa. I have more mango. I have some limes. I have pineapple. I have watermelon. I had some watermelon today too and some papaya. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna make the smoothie and show y'all. I have the pineapple, a good amount the papaya, which was the second half from the one that I used yesterday. And then I just did one half of the large mango. And I'm just gonna put the moss in directly. The restaurant that I went to last night, the vegetable coconut with rice and peas was nice, but the rice and peas, they used a good amount of butter. So, you know, you could just, if you don't like eat a lot of cow or animal products in general, and you could just taste it and feel it like up on you. So I stopped eating um, the rice and peas and I just kept eating the vegetables and the coconut sauce and that was nice. Then this morning I had like a typical Jamaican breakfast, but so it was the ackee, the saltfish, the pop choy um, with some other veggies and dumpling. And then I had like toast on the side because there was so much oil. 
So yeah, anyways, I put a little bit more sea moss to kind of emulsify and cleanse some of that food. Cause I don't really eat heavy like that in the morning. Smoothie is nice and blended and smooth. So pineapple is acid. Papaya is sub-acid, mango is sub-acid, and then we have the sea moss. I didn't add banana because that's sweet, and according to the fruit mix, it says not to mix sweet and acid. It's okay to mix acid and sub-acid, and sub-acid and sweet, but not acid and sweet. Yeah. The amount of energy just from the amount that I had yesterday was out of this like out of the stratosphere. <laughs> okay, could go and go and go and go and go all night for hours. I was up around 3 a.m. like <laughs> ready for the day. So whatever is up in there in your colon, it does start to help break that down. And so energy already is something I already noticed. And then digestion, improved and smooth digestion. I'm not getting stomach aches or bloating. That's the update so far. Mm -hmm. So this is my dinner. All right, it's day three. Today I decided to do mango because it's supposed to help boost your serotonin levels. I woke up wanting more rest, probably because I have been in this kind of like shedding phase right now. And um, I set an intention before resting for that to continue as I rested. So that's why I chose mango for today. So this is just acid and sub acid fruits. It's papaya, mango, and pineapple. Pineapples and papayas have digestive enzymes in them that allow them to help break down any animal proteins and fats, but also food products that are harder for the body to digest um, that take it a lot more energy. I just wanna make sure that I'm cleansing as much as possible. Give your body a boost in digesting and properly discarding the foods that you put in that it just really, it, it really can't use it. It can't do much use. So then it'll store it in fat cells. And again, these gross and it'll wreak havoc and it'll come out your pores, it'll smell awful. So there's all these things. Anyways, that is the smoothie. It smells really like papaya. So I'll see you tomorrow for day four. Hey you all, it is day four and I woke up with a lot of energy. I actually just busted out um, a lot of work. So I had to package out some face masks for Privy, my super herb face mask, which if you are used to my skincare videos, this is what I've been using on my face. While I talk, I'm gonna get the seeds out of my papaya, but I woke up with a ton of energy and I am um, on my menstrual cycle right now and I have so much energy, packaged a lot of orders. Tomorrow is ship day, so I have to head to another parish. And what else have I done? I've done a lot, I've done yoga, I've done meditation, I've done breath work. I did breath of fire today. I had a very heavy, intense breath work session that I did yesterday morning and had to release, I released so much out of my body. Um, so it was kind of intense and heavy yesterday, but today I'm uplifted and that's this journey, isn't it? I'm like a stickler, I don't know, for bananas and the taste. I don't like them too sweet, just eating them straight. This is the perfect ripeness, I think, for smoothies. I'm gonna add two, papaya, banana, and I cleaned sea moss last night and soaked it. Makes me really happy to know that, you know, my life is in my hands, my health is in my hands. This is that youthful skin that I was talking about. Brought my smoothie to go today. So it's just papaya, ripe banana, really ripe banana, and sea moss, and some spring water that has some key lime squeezed into it. She thick. <laughs> I ran out of most of my fruits, but I realized I still had some frozen bananas in the freezer and I had like four or five small mangoes. So I cut those up and I'll put in maybe just two of these. I'll do three. And three. 
have had a lot of energy. I've been up for a while. I did a deep breath work practice again. My energy and everything is just flowing properly and it's actually flowing, you know? It's not stuck or held up. Right, let's blend. I have to get on the road. It is day six. It is day six, wow. This has already flown by. As I am building my smoothie, I just wanna talk about some of the benefits. Day four is when I really started to notice a difference and now that I'm reflecting, I wanna come and tell you guys. So I put some of the seeds into the compost but I'm just gonna eat the rest of these while I talk about it. Day four is where I really started to notice how much my colon was um, cleansing and relieving itself. Hold on, it's so weird eating these. <coughs> if you get some of the fruit with it, then it's fine, but just by itself, it's like taking several pills. <laughs> Um, anyways, day four is where I really started to notice that I was relieving even when I wasn't eating as much and I am also on my menstrual cycle. If you notice, my energy and my levels are up. I don't bloat. I don't really have any negative period symptoms. If you don't experience these kind of periods where you actually are clear, where you can get out of bed every day and early, where you can be productive, you don't bloat, you don't have intrusive, harmful, just negative um, thoughts and mood patterns and mood swings, you need to try a cleanse. This right in here, this is what I've been doing for the past two, almost three years, I wanna say. I feel incredible. Today is a great day and I am just giving thanks. <laughs> I feel very, very grateful today. So my digestion has increased more than it already was. It was very smooth. And your digestive system, your colon, is like the foundation to your total body wellness and harmony. The next main thing is energy and clarity. It's just clear stream of consciousness and thoughts coming out. Yesterday morning, early in the morning, around 3 a.m., I woke up and I opened my balcony door so I could hear crickets and all of the insects and just, you know, the stream of water behind uh, my place and to really tap in with my spirit and to meditate and get clear and to receive any information that you know was trying to come down to me which is what is happening a lot of these times but we have so much blockage so much buildup and mucus and waste and even thoughts and beliefs and identities and things that we need to shed where nothing can get through my intuition has boosted i am clear i went to my friend down the way yesterday and i got some bananas i'm just doing papaya and as you see it was a small papaya and i'm just doing half of that and then maybe one or two bananas in sea moss comment down below and let me know if sometimes you'll get thoughts that feel very invasive and intrusive it's like yo i thought Nah, this cleanse has, has helped with that. And my ability to tap into my heart space in moments when I'm really hurt. You guys, it's so easy to get into judgment. It's so easy to, to let these thoughts take over, but you control your mind, you control your thoughts, and cleansing helps you to do that. <laughs> feel really incredible right now, I feel very high. I have an aversion to the heavy oil of like chips. There's a lot of banana chips out here and you know, potato chips in general, they're like potato chips, but they're made with uh, Jamaican bananas. And I love banana chips, but I've had an aversion to it. And when I see things like rice and peas or any of these starches, breads and things like that, whereas before I, although I was denying the craving, the craving was there. My womb is like, no, that's not even interesting to us right now, which is great for weight loss. All right, CMOS. It looks like I have two days left. Yeah. That'll be the smoothie for today. All right. It has the texture of applesauce. I'm editing 
this video right now. It's 12.30. This is all I'm gonna eat today until dinner. because yesterday I planned to leave the house and go out and edit but then I decided why not just stay home and edit I was feeling very energetic and I busted at work I worked from 12 30 and once I looked back up and I was editing that footage I looked at the time and it was 5 30 non-stop straight edit I have one full large banana and then three-fourths of the next one I have half of that the other half from yesterday of that papa my hair is drying that's why I'm in my nun chic <laughs> I dipped my hair in very warm water with some baking soda. I wanted the ends to get back into their curly state. I did a rinse and then I added some aloe vera gel, my spritz of aloe vera gel with rosemary in it and spring water. So now I'm going to add my moss. I'm feeling great today. I feel great, I feel uplifted. I woke up very early again around four or so a.m. The sounds of the sounds of nature just like cradled me into a beautiful meditation, extensive breathwork session. And y'all, I was tingling and flying <laughs> after. Really trusting my intuition and trusting what I need for myself and what I need to do and how I should honor myself. Not based on all of these accounts and all of these people that say you should do this or you should do that or they tell you their experience and because you align with their values or you like their aesthetic or whatever, I was talking about this on Instagram, then you adopt those things as your own beliefs. In the end, yeah, sometimes that might work, right? Sometimes, like I know I've always said, oh yeah, I'm trying things on. I'm trying things on and I'm seeing if they work for me. At what point does it get to be just too much noise? Even if it's positive noise, at what point does it get to be so distracting from your own voice? I think I'm gonna do eight days, maybe just seven on camera. So that's about as much sea moss as I have for today. This is a look. <laughs> It's warm, like warm pudding or porridge. I feel like it just transported me back to the womb <laughs> or when I was a baby. Like baby food, exactly. Cheers. I am going to end the video here because of all of the benefits that I've noticed. If I decide, well, I have a little bit of moss left, so I will do it tomorrow as well. If there are any changes, then you will see me come back on after this. But I am very thankful that you guys watched this video. If you are in need of a cleanse, a colon cleanse, if you need digestive support, if you need hormone balance, if you need help with your painful cramps, if you need help with cysts and fibroids and different growths and masses in the body, sea moss, fruits, cleansing is a great place to start. I'm sending a lot of love and healing your way. I am Takia. Bye-bye.